Why, why this with it? <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, you idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick Gardle. You want me, you want me to lash you with the bone for you? I'll, I'll lash you, I'll pull it out for you. I'll pull, pull, bring it right over here I for hate you. that actor. You hate Jimmy, you, 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 you hate Because Jim. of that, yes. Why, 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 it's not, it's not his because, fault. Because he's always right. Jimmy Stewart. Oh, well, he is, he's Jimmy Stewart. So he's like, he's, he's very, very good. He's very believable. Like no, that. he's not. Yes, he is. I love Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, if you don't know who Jimmy Stewart is, uh, you're not uh, missing much. Yes, uh, <laughs> you are. You should watch him. He's really good. And uh, thank you for so much on Patreon. Follow an official Twitter account. Today we're reacting to a food video. And We're reacting to a food video. We are. Oh, well, then I guess I will continue eating my banana. <sighs> Is that a euphemism? Uh, but <laughs> I've told you many times that I want to do the $100 street food challenge. Yes, you have. So we are going to react to it so you can see what Oh, and see exactly what it is. Yeah, there's, uh, there's uh, some... Uh, oh, man. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm going to do... When we come to India in March... Uh, around Holy. Uh, we are coming then, if you didn't know that. Uh, Surprise! Yeah. Um, they say it's impossible. Uh, well, let me tell you, $100, not 100 rupees. Yes. $100. That's about 7,000 rupees. Can't wait to spend 7,000 rupees. <laughs> <laughs> I will buy food for anybody that Street comes. Street food. Yeah. You can get a cup of chai for like 5 rupees. You know how many stupid babies are going to come to help me? <laughs> so you can get a team of people to do this for you to spend it, or it has to be you and you alone? Technically, no, but I will. I can do whatever I want. It's my $100. <laughs> but aren't, aren't there rules? No! <laughs> there's not rules. Then it's, but what kind of a challenge is this if there's no rules? Shut up. Here we go. Here it is, the monstrosity. Oh. The weighing in at one kilogram. This thing is gigantic. <laughs> Let's try it out. Looks like a giant lasagna sandwich. The $100 street food challenge has been a huge hit around the globe. In Korea, oh. we tried a luxurious lobster tail covered in molten cheese for $15. In Japan, I took down an ice cream cone covered in real gold, $10. That just completely dissolves in your mouth immediately. Oh. Now we're <laughs> And I'm challenging myself to spend $100 on street food in a single day. You think it's gonna do it? So will I be victorious? This is 15 bucks. We only need to spend like 85 more dollars today. Or will I look like a fool? I think people saw the title and they're like, how are you gonna pull this off? <laughs> I'll be joined by a local foodie expert, Natasha of Curly Tails, and she knows her stuff. It's such a vibrant city. You find the richest man living in the city and you find the poorest of the poor living in the city and you barely see the disparity. Everybody comes to eat that street food. So hit the Stairmaster and prepare your deli belly. Today we're eating <laughs> big in Mumbai, <laughs> India. <laughs> Oh, pomegranate seeds. Oh, this is I, this is looking great already. He's a he's a great YouTuber. He's a, he's, a, he's a food guy. Okay, I can tell already. Yeah, he's a food guy. Stop one, the dancing da belly. In order to entice patrons and get some attention for his sandwiches, this man dances or um. Yeah, that's dancing, right? Oh. Hey! 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 Is he yelling at me? No. Okay. Yeah. Uh, India is the best. Okay. Hey! Go ahead. Right here you have the amazing dancing dabeli. Now dabeli is found all over Mumbai, but this dabeli is special. They're putting like uh, incense underneath? Actually to keep away everything else, so the effects. Oh. <laughs> We're in a Bollywood movie right now, aren't we? we? Are. Oh, it's happening. He's got the bread. He dramatically <laughs> carefully slicing each one. It's not actually that careful. I love I this he guy. cut himself at some no, point. Don't think so. Now he's ready. We've got a bun. Sweet chutney, garlic chutney, potato mix, onions, peanuts, and now he's just going to have a bun. Well done. 
Come on, people! Okay. <laughs> yes. I've just got like a little salsa of like peanut, onion, and garlic chutney. Same. Oh, yeah. Mung flour shavings. Pomegranate. Pomegranate. Ah, the bun oh. here is super toasty, crunchy. Let's just jump into it. Dip it into that stuff. Mmm. Oh. Yes? Did you even get any? Mm. Hold on. Compare those bites. That's hilarious. That is so yummy. The masala is not too intense, which is nice. The peanut. I I just, peanut I'm just worried about everything being like too extra, spicy. Extra chunky peanut butter in there. Probably it looks spicy. delicious. You'll probably be fine. Right? Yeah. You know, everything that fell out of it will have a lot of spice. Like a nacho chip. That is heavenly. I, I hope for you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Carrying water bottles right, everywhere. Oh, you see that? Oh, you could butter it at the top of the bun. Yeah. Oh, it's like a. Uh, Wait, this is $15. Like India sloppy joke. Oh. 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 That is only like 50. 100 times as much food? Yeah. I'll tell you, I'm up for the challenge. Let's do this. Alright, let's go. Oh, no, you carry water bottles. Yeah, I'll 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 carry to our second location right here. I think it's a big lentil oh, fluff, like my fluffy lentil mashed potatoes. This is actually grand fluff. This is one of the most spot selling dishes here. It's called hamuni. Hamuni. Yes. yes. And you also get to eat that with green chili. Do you think you can do that? I yeah. Can, I can. Can we pretend? Like I'll take a bite and spit it out, and then like <laughs> we'll edit it so it looks like I ate it. Is that okay? That's what I do all the time. Okay. <laughs> So right now, he's put some of the fluff on the plate, shaved graham flour on top of that. Coriander. Coriander. A big handful of onion, a couple hot chilies, and then some little mirrors. <laughs> What's the mirror for? They even give us a little mirror so you can check your teeth uh, for food at the end. It's called jugard in India. Wait, I thought jugard just meant like, make it work. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. We're making it work. We don't have spoons. We're not uh, using plastic. All right, let's do it. So I'm going to curve oh, it a little bit. Interesting. It looks like the inside oh, of a burrito, right? Mm -hmm. Like it does. Mm -hmm. it should be wrapped it's a little up sweet, with something. A little salty. The great. coriander makes it very fresh, and then the oh. onion is a nice texture, a little okay. bit oh. crunchy onion texture. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh. Mm. I love it. Very tasty. simple, but very delicious. And honestly, why would you mess it up by eating chilies? You, know, <laughs> you wouldn't it's mess it up. Like, Come on. It's not like as intense as it would be. Come on. Take a bite. <laughs> Listen, don't believe her. Ready? Yeah. Take a bite. I'm gonna take a bite. <laughs> You're not gonna? No, what it's too spicy for me. She <laughs> walks me through this huge tutorial and then she's like, but I'm not. Okay, here we go. One, two, huh. I'm not doing that. I am 100%. Yeah. Does it add a little zing? Yeah, it adds a little zing. A little chili flavor. I love it. India has some of the most affordable street food yeah. of anywhere in the world. But there's a lot of reasons for it, and one of them is the choice of ingredients and kind of the creativity with the ingredients. Yeah, how one thing can be used for like numerous right. dishes. Oh. Yeah. Even here, right, we right. have the kind of the gram flour mash, yeah. and then we have the shaved gram flour on top, yes. giving a yes. texture. That's a lot of food for like 22 cents. That's why it's so hard. 100 street. 7,000 rupees, man. I'm doing it! <laughs> what we are having is an aloo piastar jori, onion potato mixture that's uh -huh. stuffed in corn flour. Uh -huh. Right, so this has been stuffed like already. Right? Yes, with onion potato and a little bit of spices, mm -hmm. all of it mixed together. And it's deep fried. He kind of rips it apart and then he puts on this. Sweet chutney, green chutney. Me. The shaved graham flour, onion. Sauce. More chili. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> and what's in there? Yeah, this is nice and crispy and mm -hmm. heavy. And you're going to eat like a true Indian, so you're going to use your... Like a true Indian. <laughs> oh, that's your fingers. Fingers. You've got yeah. some onions, coriander, yeah. all it on top. That's fine. It's more like a pizza there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're Whoa, using... that mint chutney. I don't so like fresh. the look man, that is a heavy food. Yeah, it's really heavy. It's a bit spicy. Got a little bit of crunch oh, on the outside. But just otherwise, it's just kind of like a, a thick savory pudding on the inside. Well, you better Bro. be hungry because you're going to have to eat a lot that day. I'm going to add a bit more of the red chutney. If you want it spicy, More you just green. add the green chutney. Well, or... What if I don't want any? Or, or that. <laughs> chutney in solid form. Uh-huh. Go for it. Ready? And here I go. Oh. Mmm. Oh. The uh -huh. chili's magic. Really? Mm -hmm. It soaked up a lot of that oil. It is so heavy. It's really heavy. But I love it. Just a few foods in and still not anywhere <laughs> Natasha and I are really going to have to step it up to make this happen. Two dollars. <laughs> about the huge diversity of food here. Right now we have another one. What is this? Oh, I could have eaten 50 of those. I've had pani puri. You take, you take, they take 
take a crisp such as this, they hollow out the top. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> they gently hollow out the top and then they put it in some like bean and uh, green water and things like that and you eat it. Absolutely. Now with ragra puri, what they do is that they take the same thing, they fill it up with ragra, which is made of family of chole, it's like a family of chickpeas. They put that and then you add a little bit of moo, which is like a lentil. So he's going to make it way better than ours. Yeah. He starts with the crisp, putting a hole into it, and then so he's got this little mixture in this yeah, pan. mixture. So that's the moon, the potato, the a little it. bit of spices. He's putting all. What are you gonna do when they're making it with their bare hands and their hands? It does bother me. I know it does bother you. Green chutney, some red chutney. It just keeps going. Oh, oh my goodness! Some Look at that. Powder. And of course. Oh my sin. lord! No. <laughs> that definitely tastes coriander. Yeah. Some peanuts. All oh, right, that's brilliant. Forty course. <laughs> We didn't know what the heck we were right, doing. For you right here. That would be $15 in LA. Today we are true Indians. Yes, you don't use a spoon for this. Sir, we are true Indians today. We're true Indians. <laughs> He's yeah, like, yeah, he doesn't really give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm gonna grab from back here. Ready? Oh, oh. Uh, this is driving wow, me so much crazy. crazy. So crispy, crispy. It's it's salty, oh. it's sweet, crunch on the outside. The only thing you want to do is go Salivating. really quick and eat it fast. Okay. You can see it's already getting soggy. It is getting soggy. It's getting kind of wet and moist on the outside. You got to be fast. Here we go. You want it to get moist mm, if you're doing a, a challenge. Yeah, that is delicious. It makes it easier. And again, just kind of similar things that we've had oh. all day today. But they all taste so different. In a different wrapping, different combo. Maybe he so spent all of five dollars. I love it. similar themes in all the street food here. But here it's all about this giant cracker. Is that the one we're getting? Yes, it's called a masala kitchia. That sounds nice. I want to name my daughter that. A masala kitchia. Good morning, masala kitchia. <laughs> you got a big day today. You got to go to school and explain your name to everybody. What is a cracker made out of? It's made of corn and a little bit of rice, sabudana. And if you want to add a little ghee as well. Ghee? Yeah. Oh god, I love ghee. Like a chili sauce? That. Yes. yes, and then the smash. And and a tornado of onions. And there's some tomatoes on the top here of with it. You. Not Cabbage all diced up. Some spices and red chili powder. This it, is a green chutney. Come Sweet on. Chutney. Come on. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then what was the last one? Throw it and eat it. Get it all over you. Here we have our Indian nachos. We're going to grab the chips now. It looks like Indian nachos. Honestly, yeah. when you look at this big layer of food, you're going to eat it. You can't tell where the chips are. You've got to kind of feel for it. Let's go. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, it's like a chocolate chip. Yeah. 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 It does look tasty. This is a phenomenal mm. video. There's a little cucumber, so but it's not bad. I don't mind like a little mini hint of cucumber mixed with a lot of other stuff. I'm kind of surprised just, it's a bit like dry. It's yeah. yeah. stuff all yeah. over it. Mm. It's a great yummy snack. It's actually That's a, a lot of food for 38 cents. Yeah. If you're looking to not eat something so heavy, it's very nice. How much money have we spent so far? Here? Five bucks. Less than two dollars. <laughs> At our final destination, we are at Almond Snacks. It's literally Mumbai's biggest sandwich. Weighing in oh, at one kilogram. Five layers. Five layers. Five layers. Cheese, veggies, goat oh. cheese, more veggies, oh. and just five layers of bread. You think you can handle it? I think I can handle it. I also like how we accidentally did a vegetarian tour today. How did yeah. that happen? Because a lot of street food is vegetarian. That's fair. India yeah. is like the only place you can go to, eat vegetarian all day, and not even really realize it. I didn't eat any animals today. Let's meet the guy. Was this your idea? What? Why? Why have you done this? It is too flavorful. It's too cheesy. It's amazing. It's a lovely thing. It you looks. Love it it looks looks people usually taste it. Insane. Insane. Yeah. Finding the person. It needs minimum. I want that. Whoa. That's in my mouth. Well, today I'm gonna take it upon myself. Well, <laughs> I'm not doing it. Right now we're gonna witness the creation of this sandwich, my man. A little bit of margarine. A little bit of green chutney. Layer of tomato. Then green pepper. Mm -hmm. Tomato. 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 And then more margarine, more bread, more green. That's one there. Wait, so what is this one that they're putting on? In-house sauce. Oh, what sauce? This is in-house sauce. You look like a little kid trying to look at the sandwich being made. <laughs> <laughs> What's back there? Even more cheese on top of that. Margarine on the bread, a little bit more green. And then that's it? I think that, oh, oh no. no. More <laughs> margarine, more green, more onion oh. now. Oh, that's goat's cheese. Oh. Sure that's paneer. Oh, chop masala. And then a little bit more cheese. This is the white kind. Oh, no, he's not done. More margarine on the bread, more green chutney. <laughs> this is a whole new layer. We haven't seen this, have we? This looks like some onion masala mix. Grating 
more cheese. Another piece of bread. Oh, that's mayo. Mayo? That looks like marshmallow. <laughs> more cheese. Oregano, chili flakes. Oh, jeepers. This Oregano. is layers right here. They're gonna put this monstrosity so in some sort of oven to bake it. One kilogram of sandwich goodness. Oh my freaking goodness. Here it is, the monstrosity, the Hulk. Oh. oh. It's almost a pound. What do you usually do in this situation? Do you put on more cheese? That's okay, listen, that's still not a small sandwich. Are you satisfied with the size? <laughs> that's more like three pounds. <laughs> Is that an awkward oh, question? It's not, yeah. Oh. That's still ridiculously cheap for something that oh, it's big. Nice you would never get something that big for, for that little. That'd be $25 here. Well, let's try it out. Oh my goodness. Oh. Really? I love it. Oh. Yeah, a little mushy mashy inside, a little crunchy on the outside. I have to try this one. 100 percent The orange layers. So there's a ton of tomato flavor coming through. Five dollars each. I only need one. You can just people. feel all the layers of bread as you crunch through it. If you turn it upside down, you can really get that cheesy layer. That's what we want is that cheese. Oh, what is that mayonnaise? Holy cow! Mm. Oh. <laughs> that is like a creamy, fluffy mayo. This is really good. I'm pretty impressed. This is like good hangover food. I'm yeah. Take one more bite. Oh my god. It's a freak. big monstrosity. I did not expect to see this in Mumbai or in India, period. This was worth it, man. But mm. the city of sandwiches, which is what this is called, right? Mumbai is called the city of sandwiches. Is it? <laughs> but they do like sandwiches. So, yeah, they do like us. In the city of sandwiches, this sandwich is the mayor. Is that right? Do you guys have a mayoral system? No. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, he's a, he's oh a good YouTuber. It has been an amazing, long, fun-filled day of eating. When you add it all up, the food costs this much money. Did we get to $100? Not even close. <laughs> <laughs> I think we missed it by a lot. So what did we learn today? It is impossible to eat $100 worth of Lies! food in my India in one day. Maybe in one year. Maybe in five years. Wanna bet? Indian street food is the perfect intersection of affordability and yumness. Elevating simple ingredients to their highest potential. Yeah. With dynamic flavors and joyous textures. Natasha from Curly Tales, again, thank you so much for your company and all your knowledge about street food in Mumbai today. Okay, well, this video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is the highest- All right, good sponsors. Yeah, that- <laughs> Okay, so a couple things. Oh, that was- That was-, that was Good. Uh, yeah. I'm going to do the challenge. We're coming to India. We're going to Mumbai, amongst other cities. But uh, I will let anybody who wants to come <laughs> help me until I complete the $100 street food challenge. It will be a video, and you will see it. <laughs> and he's, he, he will I will spend attempt it. I will buy. If you want free food, just come along. But I imagine. believe that part of the rules is the hundred dollars. It's got to be you spend hundred dollars on yourself. On a bet. That's the challenge. What? It's not a challenge for you to bring fifty people and buy them a hundred dollars worth of food. That's not a challenge. I make my own rules. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if I want to buy hundreds of people food, which I'm going Go to have right to. Go right ahead. <laughs> I'm going to have to. But I don't think that that qualifies for it this does. this challenge. It does. But it's not a challenge. It looked delicious. It looked amazing. And I love, did you hear her say oregano? Yeah. That happened, I was cooking something and I was talking to Indrani about it and she said, is that oregano? And I thought, that is so cute. <laughs> and she said, what? That's what we call it here. I said, it's oregano. She said, is it really? I said, yeah, it's oregano. She said, no, everybody here calls it oregano. Are we sure? At least I'm sure of this. Well, I know we call it we oregano. We call it oregano. And I'm, but I don't I'm know. An, I come from an Italian family, and oregano is a pretty central staple. So, <laughs> but I don't, I don't know where it's from, though. It, it's it from the you... earth. It grows in the ground. I know, but I know. where did it originate? The pronunciation of oregano, I believe, it's Italian. Mm. Could be wrong. I don't know who you know. The battle between <coughs> Italy and India there for that one. So, no, oh, those epic India, 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 India Italy battles. <laughs> Man, that was good. Uh, like the, the, the sandwich at the end? The nah. Ridiculous. Everything about that. Did you see, there was a recent food person, either on Food Network or a food critic, you may know who it was, who simply just came out and lambasted Indian food across the board. It said, Indian food isn't any good. And 
bunches of people jumped up and said, are you a moron? Mm -hmm. Because yes, clearly you are a moron. Mm -hmm. It's like, how? He probably went down to the, the local um, Taj Mahal restaurant. Right, in, 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 <laughs> in uh, Des Moines, <laughs> and ate what they were serving because the little exposure that we've had, I mean, we know what we've eaten here. I just got a message recently from somebody who says, why don't we eat South Indian food? The reason we don't eat South Indian food, guys, is because the restaurants here are predominantly North Indian stuff because everybody thinks it's like tandoori chicken and chicken masala and that's pretty much it. You know, that's, but we're looking mm -hmm. and I, I can tell you just from one bite of mutton that I had in Calcutta. Was it nice and lean? It was nice and lean with the tomato. <laughs> if you don't know what we're quoting, stop living under a rock. An MLT sandwich. Have fun storming the castle. Princess Bride, go watch it. You should. Liar! We'll do the rest of it like this. I want to go to Mumbai and I want to eat the food. But yeah, everything in there. I'm like, everything looked delicious. Oh, That's sure. never my issue, really. Um, it's, it's, it, I'm hoping it's not too spicy. Obviously, I'm not eating the pepper. Well, that's the difference is that when they talk about spicy in India, when we talk spicy, we're thinking what we're exposed to here with Thai food and Mexican food, which mm. means heat. Mm. Spicy for Indian food means it's got a tremendous amount of flavor that like overwhelms your mouth because it's so, so flavorful. Heat isn't necessarily the factor. Now, they do have some stuff that is hot, mm -hmm. but it's not customarily my understanding when they would refer to the food being spicy they would mean it's just got a lot of spice flavor mm. and i don't think you're gonna get hit with heat the way you would but see guys there are certain brands of doritos he can't eat <laughs> i'm not kidding well which right doritos are you talking about i can't eat hot cheetos if that's what you're saying <laughs> that's one of them but you wouldn't eat the spicy nacho doritos i wouldn't eat anything with the word spicy in it correct but like even you don't get pepperoni on your pizza because pepperoni will burn no, your mouth. No, I, I can eat. You can, but it burns your mouth. No. It's not like, oh, it's hot, hot but I feel heat when I eat yes. pepperoni. Yes, if you ate a pepperoni, you would go, whoo, and grab a drink. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But I eat pepperoni. It's just I, most people can't tell that there's heat in pepperoni. <laughs> I Because right, it just has some pepper in it. <laughs> Pepper is sometimes spicy. <laughs> oh. Sorry. It's going to be the two things. There's three things I'm going to enjoy about you in India. One is you having to navigate the numbers of people surrounding you. Mm -hmm. Two, the amount of times you are going to have to eat with your hands and have food prepared by other people's hands. I already bought my, uh, my uh, your gloves. reusable fork. <laughs> I'm just going to have on my keychain. <laughs> And I will stare at every Indian in the face as they eat their food with my fork. And then the heat. Yeah. Yeah, the heat. Mm. I'm still waiting for the day. We meet Ali Abad and we get to do something and we're eating okay. and she's going to give you something to eat and you're going to refuse it. Uh, no. I'm pretty sure she won't do that because... Alia, please, please, please. She's not watching. <laughs>